Welcome to another demonstration of um, using the Zeus editor to program for Go. In this example, I'll be showing you the, um, the IntelliSense features of the or the autocomplete features of the editor. Now, the default autocomplete in Zeus is driven by C tags information, and the way it works is all the files that are in the workspace are automatically tagged. And as you can see in the classes panel, you'll see the tag information gets produced. So in this example, there's, there's all the functions make up that particular calculate package. And then Zeus uses that information to power the IntelliSense. So for example, if I'm here in my calculate package, I want to see what's available. There, there's my absolute function, and there's the signature for it. So that's that's driven by the um, C tags information. But there's another alternative. Uh, um, using the scripting features of the editor, uh, it's possible to create another form of, a form of IntelliSense that actually uses the Go code um, tool. So this is the actual Python script that Zeus used to write the Go code. And so to use that, all we have to do is the keyboard mapping. And I'll do that right now. Go to the keyboard mapping. I'm running the brief keyboard map. So I edit that and I want to just go to the macro section. And if I take the period character, I want to bind it to um, the Go Python function. There it is there. I'll sign that, apply that. While I'm there, I'll also do the alt space. And that's tied to the Go IntelliSense function. So I've got the two Python macros now bound. And now if I go back to my test code, I've noticed that I need to just delete this. It's now drive, being driven by the Go code. And how do we know that? Well, because if I take this import out, this code is no longer valid. And as shown by the status bar, it found nothing. So the difference between the um, the Go code autocomplete and the C tag version is the Go code actually compiles the code to figure out what the autocomplete should be. And for that reason, it's it's far more accurate. So for example, and it, it can produce some really nice results. For example, this is one of the test cases out of the Go. Um, this lowly variable down here magically autocompletes. Um, it's it's quite effective. Um, but yeah, so that's basically it. And there's actually oh, there's actually some nice features with it too. Well, yeah. use the alt space function. Let's try that. So there's all our functions in format. Let's say we're after just all the functions that start with P. Now if I use alt space, it narrows down my search quite nicely. So the yes, the um, the Go code autocomplete is 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 very nice, and this gives you the option of running either the C tag version of autocomplete or the Go code version, which is driven by this macro code. So there you have it, a, a demonstration of the, um, the autocomplete features of the Zeus editor.